Hello, this is Professor Tom Wolf. This is a short presentation to show you how to use the JavaScript methods that I've written, which will allow you to play around with your images in your site and make it more interesting. This is completely optional. It's just an enhancement you can do in your site if you want to. There are three scripts. I'll talk about how they work and how you can use them. Uh, I think you might enjoy this. So the first one will randomize the image that's shown initially when the page loads. And I kind of intended this for the home page with the bio image. So in the video you'll see I have a series of images of myself and then I can set this up so that when I load the page a random one will be displayed. And that's static. It doesn't change after that unless I reload the site. The second one sets up a timer and that goes through a set of images in the same way that the random one does but now it will change as the user is looking at the page and so you can set up the interval for how often it will change and it randomly goes through the images the third one is really similar to the second except that it doesn't randomize the images it goes through them from beginning to end so you can use that if you have uh, say a portfolio of your work that you want to show or uh, a sequence of images that show a process or tell a story, something like that. <clears throat> okay, uh, all of these require that you create an image set. So in the folder for my, my project with my web files, I'm going to have the images. And then in the JavaScript file, which I think is called image functions JS, you have to include that in the folder. And then inside the file, you'll see this image files here. And so this is the actual name of the images that you've put in the folder. These just happen to be JPEGs. They don't have to be JPEGs. You can use the PNG, the GIF, uh, the JPEG spelled JPEG, uh, SVG, and a couple other formats. Now when you do this, you have to be real careful. So it has to be an exact case match to the name of the file and notice that each one of these is uh, quoted with the opening and closing quote and all but the last end with a comma so it's a list so we have a, uh, all of these are separated by commas then you don't need a comma at the end okay now if you want to use the script more than once on your site you're gonna have to create several of these and they have to have a different name so if you only use one I've set it up as image files you can just go ahead and leave it that way and use it uh, let's see in the uh, HTML file you have to include this script in the head part of the document I'll show you how to do that in the video automatically but again, this is the name of the JavaScript file, image functions JS. That has to be included in the directory as well. Okay? So, uh, create image randomizer is going to be the one that creates a single file that's random, uh, I'm sorry, a single image that's random when the page loads. Then it doesn't change unless the user reloads the page. So the name of the function is create image randomizer. You pass the name of your images, which is the image files here, unless you use this more than once, and the name of the ID, this has to be an exact case match, to the uh, image source in the document. So if you see here, biopic is the ID for my main image on my main page. That's the image of me. So you can see in the example I'm using this to randomize uh, one of a set of images of myself that I've included in the directory. And uh, that basically just gives the page some variety and, and the user will only notice that if they come back to the page and they'll notice then that there's a different image or if they reload the page. Um, just so you know, the script is not set up to remember which image it had. So there's always a chance that randomly it'll come up with the same image uh, that we just had. And of course, the fewer images you have, the more likely that'll happen. 
The second script is called Create Random Image Sequencer, and what this does is once it starts at the when the page loads, it continues to change the image, and you can uh, indicate how often you want that to happen. So if we look here uh, again, the first parameter image files is the name of my image set. The second one is the ID of the picture element that I want to randomize. Again, here I'm using the biopic. And then the last value is uh, how often to change the picture in milliseconds. So 2,000 milliseconds is 2 seconds. So the way I've set this up, it will go through the image files of myself and it will keep changing the biopic every 2 seconds. Now, uh, this will work better if you make all of the images uh, the, a similar size. Otherwise, as the uh, smaller images replace larger ones, the page will jerk a little bit as the text reforms around them. And since I haven't done that, I'll show you that when we get into NetBeans when I demonstrate these. Okay? Again, the last one is real similar. It just doesn't randomize the images. It starts in the first one and goes through them and then repeats one after another. Uh, the parameters are all the same. This is the set of images. This is the ID of the image element in the page that I want to ra uh, randomize here. And uh, I'm sorry, that I want to sequence here. And then again, this is milliseconds, which means every two seconds. So the difference between this and the previous script is this one shows the images in the order. And uh, if you have a series that you want to show in an order that might like show a process or uh, tell a story, then you need to put those in the order you want them to be shown in the, uh, the image set that you're going to create here that's called image files. Okay, let's go and look at NetBeans and we'll see how this works. Okay, so I'm in NetBeans now and uh, here's my site root for my site. And notice I've included all the images here. So here's the index HTML and then uh, the image functions JavaScript, that's the file that's open here. That You have to include that. That is the JavaScript code. And then I have all of the images here. So first thing we're going to do is we have to link the JavaScript in so that the page knows to run the JavaScript. And in NetBeans, you can simply grab that and drag it over, and it'll insert it there. Now, uh, this is actually an older type of markup, so you can actually remove this type attribute. It's not needed in HTML5. Sorry about the dog there. It's kind of hard to keep him quiet when I'm recording, so uh, we just have to put up with him. So, if you don't put this in, then it won't work, okay? All right, now, uh, once we have this together, let's go ahead and look at the file. So I've put the file in here. I've added it here. Now I'm going to edit the file. And if I come in here, you can see there's the image file. And here are the lists of the images. So these images are already right here. I have to match them exactly in the case. So it's case sensitive. And all of the images are separated by a comma, except the last one doesn't. So here are the images that I'm going to use. Okay. Now, I can use any one of the three options here. And so I've actually included them here, but they're commented out. So if we uncomment the first one here, this will create the image randomizer. And so it's going to use the image files, and it's going to use the biopic. So really the only thing you have to do is include your images and then use one of these three scripts. So this is the first script. We're going to go ahead and look at it here. Uh, you know what? Before I do that, let me uh, comment it back in and just show you what the page looks like at this point first. Okay? So I'm going to go to Firefox, view the page, and here you can see I have the page set up and uh, this is basically where I left off on day two. So this is what we did in the day two video. Alright. Now let's go ahead and turn the script on. And again it's going to use these image files and it's going to randomize that on the load. Okay. So I'll go back to Firefox. 
and then I'll reload the page and it doesn't work so I forgot to save the file that's why it didn't work also remember it might repeat the image because it doesn't remember which one this is like every time you reload the page is like every time you come back to the site so you can see as I reload the page I'm getting these different images and one thing to notice is that because they're differently sized they jump around now that won't be a problem with this script but with the scripts that follow where it shows multiple images one after another that'll make them jump around and that'll be kind of a pain so that won't look very nice okay let's go ahead and look at how to do the other two scripts and although you can use the scripts uh, at the same time you can't use them for the same element it doesn't really make sense right but you can use all three of the scripts for different things in your site okay I'm gonna uh, comment this out so it's not gonna work anymore and now I'm gonna come down and uncomment the second script this is the one that's going to start a timer which will go ahead and randomize that image that we just looked at so again I'm going to save the file to make sure it runs and uh, I think I'll just go ahead and rerun this here from here alright so notice now that it's actually changing every two seconds and uh, if that's too fast you can low it, lay it back uh, you really don't want it to change too quickly um, that kind of gets disconcerting for the user and if we get it changing very very rapidly that can actually trigger an epileptic seizure uh, in people that have epilepsy so you don't want to do that okay so that is the image sequencer let's go ahead and close this and now we'll do the last script <clears throat> pardon me so uh, this script works the same way as the previous one again I'm going to save the file but it'll run through the uh, pictures in order and so you can see that the first picture is me wearing my red wizard hat then the next one is where I forged the axe so we should see these all go through and then we'll see the red wizard hat and at that point we've gone through all of the images so there's the red wizard hat. There's the axe man. I'm forging a tomahawk there. And finally, we're back to the red wizard hat. So it'll just keep going through the sequence in order then. Okay? Again, for these, this one and the previous one, you really want the images to be about the same size or at least the same minimum size so uh, you might have noticed that the code will size the images down to the width that I specified but the smaller images it doesn't size up so if they're all a certain size then that'll work fine okay I hope you enjoyed this just something to add a little uh, activity to your page and make it a little more interesting